What's up everybody, Aaron Smith here, above knee amputee, missing my right leg above the knee. Got all this metal in my left leg right here. From an accident. Anyway, so we're about to go on a bike ride. You know, when I lost my leg, I thought I'd never get to ride a bike again. And today I'm gonna get to do my favorite thing, which is go for a bike ride with my daughter, Izzy. So we're gonna go on a bike ride together. It's been a few months since Izzy actually broke her arm, her arm from climbing a tree. Yeah, that wrist there, she broke it. Yeah, there's two spots where they put pins in to help it heal. Yeah, two spots right there where they put metal mm -hmm. pins in to help it heal. So we're excited that we get to go bike riding again together, aren't we? Mm-hmm. So Izzy's got her survival knife there and she's yeah. got her what kind of, what is that backpack there? It's made of jeans. It's made of blue jeans. It's got all kinds of cool survival gear. Well, we're just going to ride around. We're just going to ride around Gainesville. Izzy's the real reason that I learned how to ride a bike because I was determined to get to go bike riding with her. And lo and behold, now she knows how to ride a bike and we ride together. So let's look both ways. All right, so we're going to go towards the courthouse. Oh, okay. You want to go through yeah. back there? Uh -huh. Okay. All right. We've got kind of a narrow tunnel. You got to be real careful here. Don't let your handlebars touch the the fence or it like or the wall. It looks like there's no space back behind her, but there's just a narrow path. Yep. Very narrow path. Good job. Good job. We're making it. Cool thing about riding a bike, you can't get through a space like that in a car. For sure. Now we're about to get to the courthouse because there's a big tall building with a skyscraper over there. Yeah, that's the courthouse. You're right. It's got a big old clock on it. Uh -huh. It's got a lightning rod on the top too, I think. I always thought that was a skyscraper. Well, it's scraping the sky for sure. But it's not as tall as some of the skyscrapers in Dallas. Yep, it's the tallest building here in this town. Yeah, it's it's really tall. That building's really old too. It was there before I was born. It was that tall. So, yeah, it's a. I don't know of any taller buildings in this area. So yeah, I'd say maybe it does qualify as a skyscraper by our standards. Yeah, we're gonna have to be real careful here. Maybe we should get over here on the other side of the road. Okay. And we'll come up to this stop sign. You can get between me and these cars here on the side. And you just stick, stick with me. Stick with me and we'll get through this traffic. Okay. All right, now let's go. There's no, there's no cars coming, we're clear. Good deal. Now if you want, you can ride up on the sidewalk or you can just stay right there, but don't cross these two lines, these two uh, okay. these two yellow lines. Okay. And just, we'll watch these cars. We don't, there's somebody in this car. We don't want them to open the door. And you, if they open the door, you could get hit. Uh, you could run your bike into the door. So you always gotta really watch out. Part of the road, you notice, because um, the bricks are worn out. Yeah. And yeah. Okay, now let's ride up on the sidewalk here. Okay. Go up that, that ramp and go between go between that light pole and that guardrail. And just kind of go slow and watch watch these doors. If somebody comes out the door, be ready to stop because you don't want to run into somebody. Yeah, we're gonna stop at the corner. We're gonna stop at the corner and press the light the button the walk button and then wait for the light and then we'll go across together we gotta wait for the cars to stop for the light good 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 okay so i'm gonna go go over here and pre press this button oh just a second actually 
we can go across. Let's go. Let's go together. Good job. All right. How are y'all doing? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. Good job. Good job. So we can get, you can get on the bricks right here. Okay. And we'll ride together. All right. So I got to get this thing working. Start. Don't see. <clears throat> good, good, good. Forgot to turn on my Strava maps our rides so i just turned it on all right so we're good now we're going to turn left okay. we're clear we're all clear we're going to turn left yep so now we're on the trail that we're looking for You want me to go first or you want to go first over the bridge? Uh, I can go first. Okay, that'd be great. It's not very much of a challenge to get to the wide bridge. Oh, it's, it's challenging enough. If you were to fall off that bridge, you'd fall a long way, so. Just stay in the middle. We'll be fine. A little more challenging when there's people walking across it. We don't want to get that close to people with the coronavirus going on. We're supposed to stay at least six feet away from everybody. That would be impossible going over this bridge if somebody was walking over it. We've got some dogs over here, so we got to watch them, make sure they don't come running after us. But he's on, he's got them on a leash. So. Yeah, they are. Yeah, it looks like one's a husky and one's uh I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Good looking dogs. All right, we're looking both ways. Nobody's coming. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what kind of dogs there. They might be German. Yeah, one's a German Shepherd for sure. I don't know what the other one is. Yeah. Well, we've got a German Shepherd. We're looking for a male German Shepherd. One of them's a Border Collie, one's a German Shepherd. So, we stay over here. I wanna get between you and them just in case, you know, so. Well-behaved dogs, it's great. Beautiful dogs, how are y'all doing? Good, how are y'all? Good, thank you. Yep. Okay, let's stop, let's stop and wait. We got a car coming. <clears throat> You're doing very good, very good. Let's wait until this, we got this car and then we got a Jeep. Just gonna make sure that we, we're all, all right, you ready? Okay, let's go, we've got enough space, enough distance between us and that next car. Good job. Good job. You are riding like a champ. You haven't missed a beat since you broke your wrist. How's your wrist feel? Great. Good. Good, good. How are you doing? Good. All right, no cars coming here. We can go across. And be sure not to get too close to these poles. They can, if you're not paying attention, you can catch one on your foot or on the handlebar and it'll cause you to crash. You gotta the be- The reason why they're there is so that cars can't ride on, on the metal Yeah, you're right, on this trail. You know, when they took them down, one time I was riding my bike here and they took some of those bars down and sure enough, a car got on it and started driving, so. They've got to be there or people, cars will just start driving on it. It looks like we're to the end. Yeah, we are to the end. So I'm going to turn around in this parking lot and then we'll go back.
We ran out of pavement. We made it to the very end. We gotta use our eyes and our ears. Yeah, you're right. Right now we've got a headwind. That means there is a lot of wind going past our ears. But if we look sideways, we can hear better. Yep, you're right. If we look sideways, we can hear better. You feeling all right? Your knees and butt hurting at all or getting sore? Your knees are hurting a little bit. Do you want to try adjusting the seat to where it's taller? Maybe. If you can, I would like to. Yeah, of course I can. Let me wait till this we pass this lady and we'll stop and try to adjust it. You let me know how it feels. Okay. Just keep your bike real close to me because I can't get off the... I'm going to get on the other side of you. I can't... I don't want to get off my bike to do it. So here, let's stop. You stop. And I'll stop right beside you and we'll try to adjust your seat. Okay, so I'm gonna pull my bike a little closer to you and I've got to stay leaning over a little bit. Just don't want to fall over that way. All right, so now raise it a little bit. Okay, let's see if that makes a difference for you. We raised it up a little bit. You like that? Good. Good, you'll have to reach a little more to get your feet on the ground when you stop. But I think... Yeah, let me, let me look at your knee. Let me get beside you and watch you. Okay, keep riding. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Now, does that feel pretty good as you ride? Yeah. It doesn't hurt your knees as much? Yeah. Good. We'll keep going if, if the back of your knees starts hurting. Is it the front of your knee or the back of your knees that hurt now? Um, uh, not, it's not hurting very much in any part. Yeah. But before we raised the seat, was it hurting like on the front of your knee here or way back behind? Okay, that means that your seat was too low. So now if it gets too high, if we raise it too high, the back of your knee will start hurting. So let's get on this side, let's get away from the doggies. And we're gonna have to stop probably here to watch for traffic. <laughs> but that may be the perfect height. Your knees will tell you what, if it is or isn't. If they keep hurting in the front, then it needs to be raised up more. But I don't think that's gonna happen. All right, we're watching for cars. There's still one over, oh no. I think we're good, I think we're good. So let's, yeah, we're good, let's go. Okay. How do you like this bridge? Is this the one you said you like the most? Yeah, I really like it. Cool. But I also really like the other bridge. Because it's longer and it's a little bit more of a challenge. Yeah. And it's also taller. Yeah. It's a bigger tree Okay. All right, now we're going this way. We got a dog over here to the right. Let me get between you and the dog. Let me get between you and the dog. I'll get right here. <clears throat> Let me watch out for this truck up here too. <clears throat> How's it going? Good, thank you. All right, Izzy, let's go over this side. Good, it's good. How about we turn right here? Let's go this way. 
this way, this way, yeah. Sorry for making that last minute decision. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go up on the sidewalk, right right there. We're gonna go up on that sidewalk. Yeah, and we gotta go real slow. But yeah, you wanna go in front of me or stay behind me? In front. Okay, go on ahead. And just watch out for people walking out these doors. Be ready to stop fast and get your feet on the ground if they pop out in front of you. Good job. Dodge the flag. All right, I'm gonna press this button. And then we should be able to get across. So this is dangerous, Izzy, so don't shoot out there without, without me. Wait, wait, wait. We got 14 seconds, 11 seconds, 10 seconds. Now, just because you see the little uh, walking man instead of the, the hand right there doesn't mean you can go. You got to make sure everybody stops and looks bo look both ways. He's going because there's nobody coming, but we want to be careful. Wait, wait for the signal. All right, we can go together. Now, if you want, you can go that way. All right, I'll follow you. Slowly, slowly. Now I'm gonna go up ahead of you a little bit just cause, oh, okay, you're good. I'm always worried somebody's gonna come driving out of there, but they've got the, the door down, so that's not gonna happen. Really smooth, huh? Yeah, it is smooth. No, it's pretty new. I've been here for about a year. Yep, you're right. This place, this whole area was built about a year ago. Yeah, they thought that they were going to have a bunch of people together and then coronavirus came and there's not as many gatherings of people. It's still got good, good smooth concrete to ride our bicycles on. Okay, look out, there's a car coming. There's a car coming. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we can go. Watch the traffic before we cross, before we cross over. Yeah, that's a, some kind of bulldog. Maybe a pit bull mix. Maybe it's a full blood pit bull. I don't know, but you don't want a dog like that to bite you for sure. Luckily, he's behind the fence. All right, we can cross here. No traffic here. Okay. I think we're going to cross the street. We're going to cross the railroad. Okay. We'll kind of look yeah. We could go uh, to the creek if you want to go all the way to the creek. If you're feeling up to it, it's just up to you. All right. But look both ways. Yeah, don't ever forget to look both ways. Okay, watch out for this car. Watch out for this car. We're going to turn this way, but we got to watch out for these cars. All right, now we now we can go over here. We're clear. Well, I really <coughs> told me that yep. once whenever you were kid, you rode your bike with your friends over to that old flour mill. Yeah, that flour mill. We did. We went in. We went inside of it. it. It wasn't secured. There was doors that were open, and we just went in the door and went all the way up to the top of the side with all the windows. That side doesn't have many windows. Only two windows at the top. That side has a bunch of windows. We went up to the top floor. That's true. Yeah. 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 
top floor. But let me tell you, it was dangerous because. I know that building. It, uh, the floors were very weak. Can yeah, the no yeah the floors were made out of concrete, and the top floor half of it fell fell down and and fell like a domino like dominoes. All the floors, the top floor fell on the second, the, the next floor, and the next floor, and they all went down into till all the floors fell into the basement for half of the top half of all the floors. So we got a. A truck coming up behind us. Were you there when he happened? Look out, we got a truck coming up behind us. Alright, so now there's nobody behind us. Let's let's turn right here. Now that's that's he's pretty wide. I just don't I don't know if he's got hip problems or anything. He moves pretty well, but I think he yeah. He's a pretty good looking male German shepherd. Yeah, he's, he's a big one. I don't know how old he is, but he he might be a good one to ask them if we could breed him to Bella. I don't know. We just have to talk to the owners and ask them more about him. But he looks pretty good. Pretty big. Pretty good watchdog. Yeah, where's the multicolored cat? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a pretty kitty, huh? Yep. The black cat almost crossed your path. Yeah, that is a superstition. You know those aren't real. <laughs> good, how are you doing? That's good to hear. Feeling? We've been going pretty long way so far. I'm feeling good. good. Glad to hear that. Yeah, we've gone over five miles so far. About five and a half miles. Very good. Your legs may be sore tomorrow since you haven't ridden in so long. That is true. You're used to getting attacked by dogs, and I've never even been attacked by one once. Yeah, well, if you ever do, I want you—I want to be with you. You know, for the first few times, to teach you how to what to do. Well, what I think I can do is I can in the highest gear and just speed up. Maybe it just depends. You might have to stop and say no. Might have to bring an air horn or some pepper spray or something with you. I have this stick, you know, there's a dog coming right there, but he's behind a fence. Yeah. But I have this stick, but if you don't have a stick, you gotta have some other way to fight them off because they will bite you. People get bitten all the time. I don't want you to get bitten, that would be no good. We just gotta make it up this hill. <clears throat> yeah. Chihuahua. What kind of dog that was. I think there's a black dog up in the sky. Huh. 
Ja. 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 Uh. All right, we gotta be real careful crossing this road too. The blind corner right here. Nobody's coming, we can go. Very good job, Izzy. You you want to keep going or are you done? Okay, excellent. Well, thank y'all for joining us on this ride. Izzy and I, we had a good, a good ride. We hope you can enjoy it virtually as much as we enjoyed it in real life. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>